Crew is a sport that combines power, grace, and beauty. And the Liberty Rowing Team is excited to be back on the water practicing the sport that many people are not familiar with. Rowing is a sport that takes a lot of time dedication and it looks really graceful when you see it, but it's actually really intense. And a lot of people don't realize how hard it actually is. And they always say, oh, you must have really big arm muscles. And they don't realize that all the power is actually being generated by your legs. So sometimes we're misunderstood, but I think that's just because it's a really great and like well kept secret. The level of commitment is, is very high. Um, if we don't have every person in the boat here for a practice, then we can't practice. So the dedication on the team has to be very, very high. And in recent years, the past two years, we've had a very dedicated team that we've seen a lot of growth from just because they've been here showing up, getting up at four o'clock in the morning um, and working hard out here for, you know, like four hours of their morning. And it really does pay off. You know, sometimes kids come to the team and they're like, oh, it looks so beautiful and so peaceful and I really want to try it. And then they soon realize when they're out there that it take, it's more than just like a peaceful sport, right? It's so many components and even though it's one repetitive motion, there's so many little nuances and things to learn. So as we saw with some of our novices, it can get frustrating because they're, lear they're learning so many things at once to learn the full stroke and everything. It, it does take time. You have to be very patient. You have to be dedicated got to be able to wake up to that alarm and just know like the, the power of the team is really there when when you get when you wake up in the morning and go oh I don't really want to get up but then you know your teammates are waiting for you I think that's the same with a lot of sports too you um, you know you have that responsibility towards your team but just getting up early getting here in the dark um, getting on the water in the dark it does take uh, a lot of dedication um, but it's just, it's just what you got to do to be successful in the sport, and you got to put in the time to be successful. Despite losing out on last year's spring season and this year's fall racing season, the Flames are glad to be back practicing the sport that has bonded them together and see the lost seasons as an opportunity for the team to become more in sync. Missing our spring season and then also not having a fall season in some ways has been kind of a disaster, but we're choosing to see it as more of an opportunity. It's given our novices a lot more time to learn the sport and get familiar with the technique instead of rushing into races right away. So when it does come time for spring and we do get to race, we're gonna be very well prepared because we've taken advantage of this time to really get together as a team and work hard. Coming back, we were so excited to see one another be back together again. And even though we're not racing, it's just really, important to us that we're able to be together on the water rowing. Um, we primarily row in uh, sweep boats, fours and eights and pairs, but this has given us some time to learn how to scull. So now instead of sweeping with one oar, they're learning how to scull with two. And that's been a lot of fun to just really not have the pressure of racing on us, but to really take the time to enjoy the actual sport of rowing and the process of learning something new has been really beneficial and, and, and good for us, I think. With well, the Flames preparing for the spring semester, known as 2K season, they know that they have a long wait before they race again. As they wait, the Flames are trying to be mentally and physically engaged. So when the race season begins in the spring, they will be ready. Right now we're in 5K season, so everything is long and low. We're working on a lot of steady state but that's really important because going into the spring season when we are doing 2Ks and we're sprinting really fast, we have to have that long low base so that we have good technique to go quick. And by working hard now, even though we don't have a season, we're really setting ourselves up for success so that when we go to nationals, we're not just going to compete, we're going to win because we put a good base in place and we have a solid foundation. We have to be able to put in those like preseason weeks, preseason months worth of effort in order to see like the growth of our physical capabilities in the spring. So now I think it's a really great opportunity for us to have that time to really just focus in on our technique and our um, strength and power as a bow so we can really focus on how we're going to make it better for the spring. So we can go into the spring really strong. 